All right, everyone. Well, good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for joining me today. My name is Matt McNellis. I am the Public Services Librarian on, located on the Philadelphia campus. And for today's Lunch and Learn, we're going to go over uh, some board prep resources. Uh, this is going to be a fairly general session. Uh, we're going to try and, and tackle as many different resources as we can in uh, about ah, 20 minutes or so. Um, of time together, all, uh, along with some databases that we have. Uh, we'll also talk about ebooks, how to use, utilize them as well. Um, we'll focus primarily probably on DO resources, but I will try to point out as often as I can regarding um, physician assistant uh, board resources, as well as pharmacy and, and everything in between. So we'll really try to do um, the best we can with just about everything that we have, which is quite the task, but that's okay. Uh, we can, we can give, it, give it a shot. So I think uh, the main thing that we're going to start with, uh, we are at the library website, the homepage, uh, library.pcom.edu. So where to go to find all of these resources? Probably a good first thing to tackle. Uh, that is going to be in our guides. There are two ways that you can uh, locate these resources. The first one up here underneath guides, uh, right down here about the fifth option is the exam prep. That's what we call our exam prep subject guide, which is going to be where all of our board resource um, board prep resources are available. So you can click there uh, and it'll take you to it. You can also scroll down a little bit on the homepage underneath quick links. Uh, exam prep, the, the link for it is right here as well. So you have two options, uh, whichever you prefer, uh, you know, how to get to the, the subject guide. So we'll do quick links, exam prep. And this is going to take you to our subject guide that includes all, essentially all of our uh, board prep resources. Uh, you can see on the left-hand column, we've organized them uh, in terms of what type of uh, exam. So it's going to be, you know, the step, the Comlex USMLE step one. We have step two, step three resources uh, for pharmacy. I believe that's the, the NAPLEX. Uh, so we do have resources for that. Physician assistant for the PANTS um, exam. And then, of course, we do have some uh resident board resources and also some MCAT resources as well. The MCAT resources are typically going to be uh, paper copies of books and we can talk about that a little bit later, uh, what, what exactly this means and what this little book icon means as well. So we'll get there, but we do have some MCAT resources as well. We also on the left-hand side have uh, are the librarians. We all kind of specialize in board resources that are available. So you can see uh, my colleagues here, uh, Brielle and Catrice, they're available on the Suwannee and Moultrie campus. And then of course, there's my wonderful picture as well for the, uh, the Pennsylvania um, liaison. So we're all here in our contact information, our email and phone number are right there available for you as well. Uh, like I said, for the most part, we're going to kind of live uh, just as an example for the, uh, the DO for the step one resources. But like I said, I will make sure to mention um, when things can uh, be applicable to the NAPLEX, PANTS, step two, step three, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Before we dive into each resource, I do want to take a, a second just to mention two resources we're not really going to cover uh, in depth today, and that is going to be the True Learn and the UWorld resources. I know these are both two very popular resources, um, but they are more controlled by the vendors as opposed to the library. We pay for it, obviously. And uh, we do have a person, uh, a contact person. I'll mention him in a second. Um, but with TrueLearn and with UWorld, both resources for the most part are handled by our vendors uh, for that. I will mention that these resources also are only uh, available for certain certain years. So for uh, second and third years with TrueLearn, um, and then second and third years for, for UWorld as well. And you can kind of see that with that warning for UWorld, which is right here. Typically with these two uh, resources, the uh, access codes will be sent out um, for the third years that happens in June. So that's coming up pretty soon. And then for the second years, access codes are sent out in July. If you ever do have questions about True Learn or True Learn or U World, not True World and U Learn, uh, True Learn and U World, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact. You can see his information is right here. Jim Panaccio, um, he's our electronic resources librarian. He is the expert um, on on these two resources in terms of access and how to help you out with it. So if anything ever kind of goes wrong or wonky or out of time or something, um, you can contact him with it, and uh, and he'll be able to help you. So those two, I will also mention as well, the Kaplan Comlex. Uh, this is available. This is another one where uh, codes are sent out and it's only accessible for first and second year, current first and second year uh, DOs. We're actually migrating over to a different resource for the class of 2026. So um, that, that's going to be changing. But 
I just want to make a uh, note of that uh, and that you don't think I'm skipping over it as we go down the list very quickly um, the, as we go through the resources. So the guide set up, uh, we have our question banks. They're are going to be all in this top area right here, like we had just mentioned. And then the books we have uh, down here. And that's going to be the same for each program uh, that we click on. Like I had briefly gone through physician assistant, same thing, with the question banks, and then we have books. So this, it's going to be all the same in terms of organization and, and setup. But like I mentioned, we'll probably spend most of our time um, looking at, at, at step one resources. Again, as I mentioned, um, I'll make sure to include uh, when relevant for an APLEX or a PANTS exam. I'm going to kind of break these down into a few different types of resources that we have. Uh, one of them is going to be uh, just kind of our bare bones study um, question banks and, and resources. Uh, I would say access medicine along with the LWW board review series are going to fall into this category. Both of these can be can be good and are solid resources. They're on the more basic side though. Uh, there's not a ton there for you, but I still want to show you them just so you're, you're familiar with it. And you can say, yes, maybe this will help me or no, I don't think I, I, I need this one. Access Medicine, pretty straightforward. Um, they offer, we offer, it offers flashcards and it offers some review questions. Those are your two um, options. Uh, they break down the questions kind of by book, which is an interesting way to go about this as opposed to by topic, but each book focuses on a specific to topic. So I can kind of understand why they did that. You can see if you pick, you know, let's say, who Harrison's has 1200 questions. You'll be able to create a random quiz. Um, you know, you can put however many questions you want. I guess if you want to be a glutton for punishment, you can go up to, you know, 100. Um, if not, you can do something a little bit less. It'll start a random quiz, and then you'll be on your way. Pretty straightforward. There's also not a lot of customization with the Access Medicine resource. Um, you can track your progress. Uh, you can create an account. It is free. Um, and then that way you'll track your progress and you can save your quizzes as well. So that's, that is one nice thing with Access Medicine and really all of the, the resources I'm going to be showing you do have some form of feature uh, of capabilities with that, with tracking your performance. Um, but that is essentially the Access Medicine. Pretty basic, really only focuses on content from the individual textbooks. So, you know, is this the favorite? Probably not, but I think a good supplementary resource. Along with that, uh, I mentioned the LWW, the board review series. This is fairly similar um, to what Access Medicine is. Pretty bare bones. Um, the question banks are not exhaustive, not entirely customizable. Um, the one nice thing with the board review series, they do offer uh, a good repository of textbooks that can help you during your board study. Um, that it's all the BRS, the Board Review Series books you can see are available as you scroll through. You can click on them and then start reading and go into town. So that is one nice thing that the LWW uh, Board Review Series uh, resource offers is that they kind of have a nice repository here of all these BRS books. But like I mentioned, they also offer uh, review questions. Uh, LWW does it by category or by by topic, which does make it a little bit more friendly if if you're looking for a certain um, certain area that you want to kind of take uh, you know take some questions on and 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 increase your knowledge. Uh, if we had you can see some plus signs, you can see a little bit more in terms of um, a little bit more specific topics, which is nice. You know, here for anatomy, for instance, there's 578 questions. It breaks it down, um, you know, by by body part, which can be nice if you're if you're looking for a specific one. If you want to uh, take some questions on that, so there is a little bit more in terms of customization uh, for the LWW. This again, you can create a, your own individual account. You don't have to, um, but you can, and that way you can track your your um, your quizzes as you go. So you can see over here on the left hand side uh, your custom quizzes. I thought I cut, created some, just kidding. It would show up here if you create some quizzes so you can look back at them as you go and kind of track your progress. So that is available to you with this. But again, this one, pretty basic, um, you know, gives a little bit more customization than Access Medicine, I think, uh, but not a ton, it's pretty, pretty bare bones, but does have more questions available for you uh, as you go through your studying. So those two, I think, are our most basic resources that we have, like pretty straightforward, you know, question bank. They're not exhaustive or comprehensive, uh, but they're there and available for you. 
Uh, the next category kind of on its own is going to be draw to know it. Um, draw to know it, I say that this one is on its own just because it's a very different type of resource. Uh, draw to know it, it's gonna include flashcards, it's gonna include video tutorials along with exercises. So draw to know it really is a lot more in terms, gives, offers a lot more in terms of active learning and really kind of just a different experience than all of the other uh, resources that we're gonna go over. The other resources are pretty much, they're either question banks or they're books. And that's pretty much what, what they do, which, you know, as you're studying for this, you wanna take practice questions, probably a good idea. Um, but if you want a little change of pace, uh, as opposed to just staring at questions the whole time, I think draw to know it can be really helpful in your uh, in your pursuit as you're studying. Just to, you know, if nothing else, just to break up uh, the monotony of taking question after question after question after question. <laughs> So Draw to Know It um, offers a lot of different tutorials, and they'll offer some video tutorials within these, which is pretty helpful. Um, so let's do... Oops. That there are going to be some video tutorials for you. Oh, yeah, here they are. Yep, there are video tutorials that are going to be available for you. They do offer... Uh, review questions, uh, they call it subject exam. So that can be a little bit awkward. Instead of a question bank, they do subject exam. Um, they do offer flashcards. And then of course the drawing action, which the draw to know it, go figure. Uh, one thing I also really like is they offer these exercises uh, that is located up here. Ugh. And draw to know it's website, not cooperating. There we go, exercises. So we'll pick a subject. Again, it's nice um, that Draw to Know it does offer, you know, di the di this by subject area. So you can, you know, really focus on something somewhere that you want to uh, improve on. The one nice thing I also like about Draw to Know here within these exercises is that it actually says uh, what exam is going to be helpful for. So again, you know, if, if you're doing, whether it be this your step one, um, for some folks they are taking their MCATs and then also for physician assistants for the PANTS exam, you can kind of see where, um, you know, what area is going to be helpful for you, which I think is a nice feature of Draw to Know It, that this is not going to be just DO specific and uh, USMLE or COMLEX specific. And the subject exam, the one thing I don't like about Draw to Note, there's not a lot of customization in terms of the exams, uh, begin an exam, and just kind of off to the races. Um, there's not, a, you know, outside of the subject area, there's not a lot more that you can do in terms of taking an exam. So that is one drawback with Draw to Know that they have, they offer um, a more interactive uh, mode of learning, which is great. But then when it comes time to the actual exams, it falls a little short, in my opinion. But like I said, uh, for a nice change of pace, I think Draw to Know can be very helpful, um, you know, to keep you from having to do the same thing over and over and over and over again, but still uh, hopefully pick up the knowledge you need. So that's Draw to Know. Uh, the last section I kind of want to cover in terms of resources, since it's already 12.15, look at that, is going to be uh, Board Vitals and Exam Master. Uh, in my opinion, I think both Board Vitals and Exam Master are really, really helpful tools because both of them are very customizable in terms of uh, question banks. And I think that they, out of all the resources we've looked at, I think they're the two best in general. I prefer Board Vitals a little bit because I think the customization is a little bit easier. Um, there's a little bit less of a learning curve than an Exam Master, but I do think both of them are very good and capable in this area. Um, one thing I will say about both Board Vitals and Exam Master, you do need to make your own individual account, where with Access Medicine, with LWW, and with Draw to Know It, you don't need your own individual account to use it. Um, that you can just, you know, log in with your, your PCM credentials and, and start going to town. You can create your own individual account. I probably recommend it. Uh, so then that way you can track and save your quizzes in a lot of those sections, um, but you don't have to. Where Board Vitals and Exam Master, it actually will not let you use the resource unless you uh, create your own account with your PCOM email address. I want to make that clear. If you use your PCOM email address, it's not hard, um, but it is an extra step and something I think that you should be aware of. Because Board Vitals and Exam Master do require you to make your own individual account, uh, it, they actually are located um, up under my accounts. Uh, these are our resources where you do have to create your own individual account to use. 
and both Board Vitals and Exam Master are linked right here. So that's another way to access these if these are the two resources that you really kind of want to use and focus on um, during your, your, your studying. All right, we'll head into Board Vitals first. Like I mentioned, it will ask you to log in. Login is up here. When you do make your account, like I said, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, but you do need to use your PCOM email address. So then that way Board Vitals knows like, hey, I'm a student from PCOM. Um, you know, I want to ask that I'm allowed to access this. So you can't use your Gmail or Yahoo. Do people even use Yahoo email anymore? Maybe not. I um, might be dating myself on that one, but you can't use your, your personal address for it. So we'll go ahead, log in. And Board Vitals, like I mentioned, I think Board Vitals is, is really customizable, and I think it's really easy to customize uh, the quizzes that you make and, the, and to get the right question banks, which I think is really helpful. Uh, you can see this is your main dashboard here. Uh, you can see the quizzes that you've already uh, created that are going to be down here. It uh, tracks your performance and then your questions, question status. So it gives you a lot of data really quick and really easy. And I think that's why I really like Board Vitals. So you don't have to go digging or try to, um, you know, really do a lot of legwork to find these things. You can see up here we have the question banks. Right now we're on Comlex Level 1, but there's a ton. You can, you know, for uh, physician assistance with pants, with Naplex, um, you can to go into specialties. <laughs> I think that's everything. And then you, you know, even Comlex level one, USMLE step one, and even step two um, questions are going to be available to you here, which is really helpful. So I think for this, we'll go ahead into, mm, let's go into, let's do physician assistant pants. So you can see right here, we have custom quiz. You can click on new custom quiz. Very simple. Uh, it does give you an option to, uh, you know, either just test your knowledge straight up to, you know, yes or no. Um, you do also have the options with Tutor and the Study Open Book that to, it will kind of help guide you to the correct answer. If you're starting out, I think this is probably a good strategy uh, that if you select an answer, it will tell you the answer and then also tell you why, which is really helpful. Uh, both Board Vitals and Exam Master does that, which I think is really helpful, um, you know, for the learning process. As you move down, you can see it even breaks it down into diff difficulty level, uh, and then of course selected subject area. So it breaks it down pretty, um, pretty fine and granular in terms of, of the subject area, which can be very helpful if you want to focus on specific, specific uh, topic. Then also, uh, you know, number of questions. You can go as low as ten, and you can also go up as high as two hundred. So if you you know really want to go to town, you can. And then of course time untimed. And then uh, it'll, it'll start it up. So very easy to make. Um, it will track your progress. And uh, and I think Board Vitals, again, uh, just really a, a good overall resource. And even during the quizzes, we'll go ahead into a quiz just to kind of look at. Uh, what it looks like. Uh, even during the quizzes, there's going to be some options, including strikeouts, calculators, lab values, to try to work your way through the questions as you answer them. Um, this is going to be also available in Exam Master. So I think that's helpful as well, just so you know that there's still some tools even during the questions. And that's Board Vitals. Uh, pretty, as, as I see, we're already at 1220. Um, you know, a pretty base... Uh, basic but highly customizable, I think, and just very clear. I, th I really like this resource. We'll move over. Uh, the, the last one we'll look at is Exam Master. Again, Exam Master, you need your own PCOM. Uh, you need to make an account with PCOM at .edu. We'll go ahead, log in. This one, not quite as straightforward, in my opinion, as what Board Vitals. I thought Board Vitals makes it super clear what, what's going on. Where Exam Master, you have to do a little bit of digging, um, but I think Exam Master is still very capable and a, a, good, um, a good resource for you. So we'll go ahead, you go create exams. You can see the outline. It gives you the general subject area. So you can select USMLE, um, Physician Assistant, you can see uh, with, with the pants. Um, clinical sciences, medical certificate, and even some biomed, uh, just more basic questions as well. And when you click on these, uh, it'll give you kind of just a brief with immunology. Um, some of the other areas will give you a little bit more description. And I'm striking out. There we go. A little bit more description in terms of, uh, of, of what it offers. So let's say USMLE, 
we'll do board prep we'll select that and you can you saw there earlier uh, you know thousands of questions are available both board vitals and exam master i think do a really good job of having very robust question banks available for you which is helpful that you can take things over and over again and you won't get the same questions um, and with exam master you can see you know filter the questions uh you know how many questions should be included in this exam and then we go ahead we can create and that's also one thing that's nice once you get the drop down here uh at, at the step three portion this is where you can see a little bit more detailed in terms of topics are going to be available to you so you can and then you can even drop it down more to have even more um more control over what you're asking. So that is a nice feature that Exam Master really goes granular uh, in, in terms of, of what topic you want to, you know, really practice with, which is nice. We'll open the exam. And this is where uh, that you can decide if you want to do more of a learning, you, you select the answer, it will tell you, um, you know, yes or no and why, or if you want to just take a test and outright, you know, this is right, this is wrong, pretty, pretty simple. And just to really quickly, um, I do like the uh, the layout here of the questions a little bit more from Exam Master than Board Vitals. But you can see you can a uh, couple options in, ter in terms of highlighting, striking through if you want to get rid of answers, and then also a lot of other options up here um, to kind of help you f fill out and answer the question. And that's uh, essentially Exam Master in a very quick, very quick manner. Um, fairly similar. If if you feel comfortable with Board Vitals, you'll feel comfortable with Exam Master and vice versa. Um, they, they're both very good. Uh, like I said, I, I prefer Board Vitals a little bit more. I think it's a little bit clearer, but both of them are very fine resources and uh, you know can also serve not only Comlex and USMLE, but uh, a lot of other uh, specialties in terms of what tests you want to take. So the final part, very briefly. Uh, we have, you know, all the question banks are available. On the guides, we also have books available to you as well. Uh, so this, the books down here, um, our ebook thing, or logos uh, here, if you ever want the physical copy. So each of these are going to go to our, our ebook copy of the books. We also do have physical copies of most books, and that's what this little book column is going to uh, show. So if you do click on that, it's going to show you where our physical copy is if we have it. This one, unfortunately, doesn't look like we do. Well, that's a shame. Um, and of course, I'm going to strike out now, too, which is super. <laughs> there we go. Here's here's one with the physical location. Um, they'll show you, you know, where the book is going to be located at, the reserve book collection, and right here with the board review. And you can see here that it is charged out. Um, but then on the Georgia campus, there's one that's available, which is great. So that is the little book option. Uh, the little PDF icon shows that you can actually download the books um, or download portions of the book, which is very helpful. And then we do have a book down here, if you see this option, um, that you can only have so many concurrent users. So basically users at the same time in the book. So you just have to be careful that rarely do we run into this issue, but it's something just to be aware of. I'd already clicked on a few books uh, that are open up here because I just want to show that there isn't a single interface, unfortunately, to look at these books. So everything is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this is, for instance, our USMLE Step 1 secret book. We see the table of contents that are located down here. And then you can see, you click on these, and you can start reading. So that's what this book looks like. Next book, um, Ganong's uh, Medical Physiology Examination. Similar. Uh, but still a, a little bit different. So it, it does take a little bit to kind of acclimate yourself and get comfortable with whatever uh, vendor or whatever platform is being used uh, with this one. Once you click on the chapter, you'll be able to start reading it. Um, but then you can also download the chapter PDF. So that's going to be something that, to keep an eye out uh, if, if you want to just download the chapter. And then that way you can save it for, for offline or to take it with you or, or however you want to, you know, however you want to consume it. And then here's yet another way, another uh, platform. This is through McGraw-Hill. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier because it offers the table of contents, but you have to actually click on this little link right here saying open ebook, which can be tricky, um, can get lost, you know, kind of lost in the fray. Once we click on that, it'll open up to 
uh, to this where it, you have a little bit more of a, a view and be able to read. As Devin's seen, click on the pages, but then you can also see here, um, you can download the book, which is going to be up here in the top right corner. So there is an option to do that, along with, you know, increasing the, the text size, reducing, and so on and so forth, a lot of those type of controls. So it is unfortunate that we don't have a universal platform for all eBooks, so it all looks the same, uh, but most of them are going to have the same thing in terms of uh, being able to zoom in, zoom out. A lot of them will be able to download either sections or the whole book, not all, but most, uh, and you can also typically cite and share as well. Now, I realized that that was a complete whirlwind of information. That was a lot of info within uh, about a 25-minute time limit. Um, are there any questions before, before we end for the day? I see a question, a new resource B for the class of 2026 instead of Kaplan. That is going to be, I believe, RX360 is, the, uh, is, is going to be the new uh, resource instead of Kaplan for the, for the 2026 class. Um, I think that will come out probably June or July, since the new class will start in in August. Um, and UWorld for second and third years, yes, UWorld is free. Um, it is free for use uh, for second and third year DOs only. Uh, so that's that's the key thing that we only have uh, so many uh, subscriptions available. So those are the two classes that get to access to to UWorld for free. And those emails typically go out in July. Um, and as I see that, thank you guys for the question. Um, I do see uh, my colleague Barbara has put in a, a brief little survey. So if any of you don't mind um, to please fill that out, just a very quick, you know, how do we do um, kind of survey so that we can improve and make sure that we're, we're delivering the, the most relevant information possible uh, to all of you and make sure we are helping as best as we can. Uh, Barbara, did I miss any, were there any other questions in the chat? Did I miss anything? Uh, Matt, how long can you check out a book for and i answered reserved books for three hours correct yep that is correct yeah the reserved books are going to be shorter uh but uh, the other books are going to be up to six weeks so in our main collection um those are going to be typically going to be a little bit older editions the reserved books are typically going to be the newest edition of the book um so we keep it on a short loan period so that way as many people can access it as possible but we do have um, older editions of a lot of those review books in our main collections, and those are you can borrow for about six weeks at a time. Okay. Well, if there aren't any other questions, I do thank you all for joining me today. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free uh, to contact myself. Um, if you're on the Philly campus, you can certainly welcome to also contact Brielle or Catrice or really anyone from the library staff um, to and, and one of us will help you and point you in the right direction. So I thank you all very much. Obviously, too, good luck on your boards or, or whatever exam you are taking and uh, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone.